welcome. Good morning, everybody. I hope you are having a great day and are ready for today, our final day of, or our final week of beach days. This is what we're doing. You know, I have not put it on yet because uh, I just ran out of time. <laughs> but this is the final part of Bomb. It goes after the big fish. Welcome. Excuse me, one moment. Mm. All right, that's a little bit better. Um, we're making these cute stars. Aren't they adorable? I like them. What can I say? All right, so let's get to it. Now, this is not, does not have to be the end of your quilt. Okay, you can put some panel, uh, some borders around the outside, which I probably will. Um, the pattern does not include borders, so it's completely up to you, but I think I'm going to finish it off. It's a really cute wall hanging. I like it. So, let's get to it. All right, so what we've got is, a, it's gonna be a nine patch block with some half square triangles. So this is the basic outside of the block and then we've got a bunch of half square triangles to put together. And this is really simple. All I'm gonna do is chain piece them. I'm gonna put a light and a dark or the tan and the blue together. And chain piecing. What is chain piecing if you don't know? It means I'm not, when I'm done sewing this part, these two pieces together, I'm not going to cut my thread. Why do I chain piece? Well, for me personally, it helps. My machine, and this happens with a lot of brothers and baby locks, tends to want to pull your fabric into your plate in the beginning. So by chain piecing, it stops that a lot. Hmm. Now that we're done with this one, I think this Labor Day weekend, besides working in my studio, trying to get it more organized, if you can't see, you probably can't see the one. See all these? I went through a dozen bins this week, organized them, including labeling them with some of my projects, two dozen. I have a lot more projects. I have to get some more pins. But I think this weekend, I will be, besides organizing, um, I'm going to work on the uh, rainbow, um, uh, the Alaskan rainbow. And by working on it, I think I'm going to go through the pattern and figure out what die cut will work for it and see if I can do some pre-cut kits, maybe even some different colors mm -hmm. before I actually put it together and make all of my notes as far as piecing. And if you're not, if you don't remember which one I'm talking about, It's this one. Mm 
I really like it a lot. Yes, it's a lot of triangles, a lot of piecing, but if I pre-cut it, it'll go much faster and it'll be much easier for you. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. But you know what happens? I have a tendency of uh, putting a whole lot on my list of things to do. Only getting a portion of them done. Okay. So, just going to iron these half square triangles out. But I'm very happy I got a lot done last week. Not only did I work in here for two days, but I actually emptied enough boxes, about a dozen, that I could take the stuff from that belongs in here from the house and actually move it into the house and wash the floors. The house has been kind of crazy. Now it doesn't sound like a lot, but this move has just about killed me. And there was so much in the shop that ended up in the house. It's just crazy. But actually, all on the place, and I can't wait. <sighs> right now, I'm still looking at a lot of boxes. But that's the nature of it. It will not stop me from buying fabric. But it'll be nice to have all of my fabric finally um, out where it needs to be. It'll be nice. Mm, nice. All right. See our block. So this is our half square triangles that I've just put in here. And all we're going to do now is put it together just like a normal nine patch. So I'm going to chain piece these together, iron them, put the end cap on, and then put the rows together. Very, very simple. This is a lot smaller piecing than I normally would like to do or like, but it went together very quick, easily. Simple, simple. It's amazing, even though it's a simple quilt, simple meaning it's not hard to piece. It's nothing out of the ordinary that you probably would not do. But it's what I think is amazing how different blocks work in different situations. Different color fabrics, different colors in general will really change how a quilt looks or block lips. I've done that, posted that on Facebook and stuff many times where you, I post a quilt that has the same block throughout, but the different use of fabric changes the blocks completely. So now what I'm gonna do, okay, just to make my piecing easier so everything will align, all of, here, I'll show you a little bit better. We've got a whole block on each one of these pieces, meaning it's not at the half square triangles. So I'm gonna iron my seams towards that whole block on all of these. What that'll do, and I'll show you when we get time to put in the rows together, is that'll make aligning and nesting my seams very simple.
I have to find another quote to post, Reby, or um, I want to post another quilt that, like I was talking about, that is the same block throughout but with different colors and fabric. It actually changes the block to the point they don't look the same. Kind of cool. So now all we have to do is sew these end caps on and then put our rows together. And by the way, it's very early this morning. I was having issues sleeping. Nola woke up at like three o'clock. We did a little yip, a little barking. I don't know if she was barking at my father. So of course I had to get up. And I think my father was doing his business and that's why she yipped. But by the time I got up and went over there and checked everything out, he was already back in bed. I thought today was going to be another week like last week. Where Dad decided I was going to go in there and he was going to be already in his chair and decided to be awake. But now. I'm always. Um, I sleep kind of with one ear open all the time just because of my dad. Sometimes I don't get a lot of sleep. I shouldn't say sometimes a lot. I don't get sleep at all. It's just the nature. I've never been one to get a lot of sleep. It's very hard to shut my brain off. So I have a tendency to Not sleep. My brain is going through this and things I have to do. I'm always thinking. If there's a quilt or something that you want me to show you or teach you on here, just let me know. I don't mind. All right. Here we go. Here is our block. So now all we have to do is put our rows together. And because I ironed or pressed the seams the way I did, okay, these will line up. So hopefully you can see that. We've got one, this top seam going to that way and the bottom seam going this way. And what we're gonna do is nest our seams. So it'll be nice and flat. They will literally lock together. I'm gonna be sewing from this side down. So I'm gonna put my pin in on the angle. Um, this one I didn't. I am correctly. Uh, there we go. So this top seam is going this way, the bottom seam is going that way. We're going to nest them or lock them together. The two seams will be nice and flat. If it feels bulky, then it's not lined up correctly. So again, I'm going to put my pin on an angle. 
going this way. Why do I do that? Well, this way I can sew down and have stop with my needle down right in the seam and before I have to take the pin out. Because sometimes just taking the pin out, you spend all this time lining up your seams and just the simple act of taking the pin out will misalign the seams. So that's how it looks. It's nothing nobody taught me. It's just something I've kind of figured out on my own over the years. Once you learn how to line up your seams, everything else is easy. Now I can take my pin out. You never want to sew over your pins. But I now I know for a fact my seams are lined up. Well, I shouldn't say that because sometimes things happen. But they should be lined up. Look at that, they are. So now I just have to do the same thing. With the bottom row. So, this seam is going this way, this seam is going that way. And they will nest. You can feel them when they lock together. It's the easiest way that I know oops, to line up seams. And thinking about it as you're sewing your block together and ironing your seams, keeping that in mind will help you tremendously because you don't have to keep re-ironing your seams. So I'll take my pin out and keep on going. Right. Oh, I think I ran out of bobbin. Yep. It happens. Let's try that one again. All right. All I did now is iron it. We're good. The two pieces of fabric on either side of this are just going to be a whole fabric, not a piece block. So you don't have to worry too much about which way the seams are going. There you go. 
Isn't it cute? Now you can use the same fabric in the corners um, as you do in the half square triangles like I did. But for video purposes, I decided I wanted to have um, the contrast so that you can see what I could do. But you can keep it this way too. You can do the contrast. It doesn't have to be the same. All right. That's it for this class or for this quilt, I should say. I hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. I check them regularly. If there's anything that you would like to see me do as far as a new quilt, um, I'm really easy about that. And I'm always looking for new ideas. I think I'm definitely gonna try and work on Alaska, the Alaska rainbow this weekend and see how, how easy it, see how much, how many more dyes I need to cut that. If that's something that you think you would like to do as a pre-cut kit, um, let me know. All right, everybody, hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you later. Bye.